Time to uh, talk about going out in your yard and doing some various things. You can see all the gatherings Michelle has. The best has. things to decorate are sometimes the things we find in our yards. And that's the whole, uh, you know, uh, yeah, topic of discussion today. Yeah, talking about it smells using, good in here, doesn't it? Using things you already have. Yes, this is what we're repurposing and we're using nature and uh, we're having a lot of fun. It's very simple, inexpensive, and you need minimal supplies to actually pull these together. So uh, I know a lot of people like to have wreaths mm -hmm. uh, this time of year, and I like to do things a little different. <laughs> Usually you I'm always like you just think? exploring. Okay, so this is one of my favorites. This is, can you see what this is? Look at the, look at this nice wreath. Everybody see what this is? Okay. Can you figure it out? But at, for the forms for our wreaths, you can repurpose things that you have around the house or maybe out in the garage. This is an old, this is a wheel off of a stroller. Um, you can use, I've done them wheels off of a bike. Okay, turn it around so you can see so that. And so you can kind of see, yeah, this is, so basically we're using this as our frame. Uh, you can also use uh, picture frames, old wooden picture frames is another way uh, I like to create these wreaths. And then um, also just uh, macrame hoops, embroidery hoops, you could, you know, use a wire hanger. So you really can kind of look around, see what you have, and use that as the form to build your wreaths on. Okay, I can see how you can attach the the uh, the, the leaves and, and things like this, the evergreen uh, areas here, onto the wheel. You just weave it through there. I'm going to show you. I'm going to okay. show you how to do okay. that. But I first wanted to talk about just about the supports okay. so that because we're a little limited on our room here okay. <laughs> but um, this is it's just a great way to uh, there's a lot of bikers in the city yep. of course uh, in this area so this kind of celebrates their passions at the same time you know the holidays and it's fun to do things a little bit it's be a you cool know, gift too. once in a while yeah yeah oh great gift yeah. idea Okay, so the first thing we want to do is um, you want to go outside and see what type of greenery that you have. Mm -hmm. And maybe you don't have any in your yard if you live in an apartment or that you could go to. A lot of your neighbors or friends would be more than willing to share a few of their branches because you don't need a ton. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I like to do uh, use a variety of different um, evergreens. So oh, okay, not the same because one. Because you're going to get different greens. You're going to get different uh, textures and patterns. And it really kind of, it just makes it a lot more interesting sometimes. Makes it pop a you, little yeah, more. Yeah, yeah, when you uh, use a variety of different greens. Um, so I have some white pine here. We have some arbor veda. We've got some spruce, um, some cedar and juniper. So a, a nice assortment so of So these are, these are trees <clears throat> and looks like bushes. Yeah. And just and little I, things. It's, yeah, and you know, I think it's important. It, when you plant things in your yard, you know, a lot of times we just think about the, how pretty they're going to look in the yard. But there's also another, you know, think about planting things that, actually ha you can use. So, you know, planting some evergreens, plant, like I plant maple trees because I know I like to tap the syrup. Right. And so kind of giving that thought to the things that you are planting and investing in, how you can kind of, you know, benefit from them in other ways than just the shade and so forth. And these aren't really major clippings either. These are things that you just do to trim it back right. normally. So, yeah. yeah, and so you just go out. I'd like to, clip. you know, I usually prune from the bottoms or place, you know, just be careful with, you don't want it. Sometimes the arbor vedas are a little more obvious when mm -hmm. you, because they're so sparse inside mm -hmm. so yeah yeah we got cut on the back side or down below or and again you just need a few branches just to do a couple of nice size wreaths so you don't have to you know go overboard with what you're cutting off okay. of your trees perfect by any means so get a nice assortment of them and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna start clipping I got brought you a pair of pruners here I see that so you're gonna want to just create see these little bundles and then this is what you're going to work with to build your wreath so, so you're just gonna, gonna create, create this bundle these nice little bundles so grab um, some nice little clippings okay. off of each of these branches. And just a, just a select, just an assortment. And right? once you do, yeah, so there's okay. a nice little piece of that. What's the one with the real long needles? Like that one there? This What's is that? the pine. Is that white pine? Yep, this is white pine. I want to use that for the background. And you can kind of trim them up, shape them. You just want to have a nice okay. bundle that's going to lay fairly flat and poof out on the front. So you'll stack that up and then just use some, you're going to get sticky. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on a second. <laughs> I got a little thorn there. And then you're just going to use some of this uh, floral wire. And paddle this is, wire, this they call it. It's real fine. And where do we get and this? And you're just going to wrap that around the body. You can, at any um, like art supply store, home improvement stores have it, anywhere where they sell uh, floral supplies. Okay. There you go. So just wrap that up nice and tight. And then what you want to do is, what I like to do is when I bring the branches in, I kind of trim them off, start my piles of each different kind. 
and then do all of my bundles. Yeah, and for guys that are out there, if you have mechanics wire in the shop, in, in the garage, go out there, get some mechanics wire or some bailing wire, because that would work too. So okay. you're going to get all of your bundles made up. And, you know, you can do... You so know, you just make a little bundle like yep. this and then leave it. That's, that, that's all you need to do. Do your bundles and then do a whole bunch of them so that you have enough to work with when okay. you go starting to put your wreath together. So okay, whether you're working it. on the wheel... So that'd be something the kids could do too. A wooden frame. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a great family activity. It smells nice and uh, it's very... It's simple uh, and you can have a lot of fun with uh, I know some people will alternate the types of branches you know to really create a fun design. So probably once you get into element. the rhythm of it and once you get an idea of what you can do yeah. then your mind starts working a little right. bit Right and then too. you'll start looking at the branches a little bit differently you'll notice that the tops yeah, this is of kind them, of a cool one here. The tops of them have a nice shape to them when you start to get towards the bottom they start to get a little more spindly so then you kind of trim them up a little bit. Oh hang on we forgot this guy. Yep, I, gotta, I gotta put this. I gotta put this guy <laughs> in there too. Just there you jam go. Jam him in there. There you go. And then once you have all of your bundles, you'll see. I just have an old wooden picture frame here. Now the bike wheel. Some of them you can wire all of your bundles onto the frame that you're working with, or like the bike wheel would be an easy one. Just yeah, to wire it's just. That. And then you okay. just continuously you'll wrap that around your wheel. Um, and just keep wiring on your bundles, adding and overlapping them, just like we're going to do here, except with these frames, you can, again, you could wire them on, or a really quick and easy way is to just heat up your hot glue gun. Oh, really? Yeah, and then you'll start in one of the corners. I, didn't, I never even thought of that. I know, it's kind of hard. So, and, and you want it to extend off of your frame. Okay, you can put your bundle. On top of it? Yep, like this your way. next bundle okay. is going to... So that'll cover up the stem part okay. of the bundle. Okay, give me the, the glue gun here. There you go. I haven't used a glue gun since <laughs> I don't know when. I guarantee you'll burn your fingers. Every time you pull out the glue gun, I always seem to burn my fingers. <laughs> there you go. And how long does the glue take to set? This, I, I, that tells me how long it sets it's been. up pretty. So just You're kind of right. Hold I, it I am place. burning my fingers. Yeah. You're right. My <laughs> don't thumb. Don't touch the glue. Yeah. <laughs> she says after my thumb goes in the glue. <laughs> And then you're going to keep working your way around the frame. So it really doesn't just take a like whole that. lot of glue. No, no. You just want to secure. And then you and can how come long back before the glue is secure? It's just it just takes a couple minutes. Yeah, a okay. couple of minutes. Just kind of hold it in place um, till it it'll start to cool off and then harden up, and you'll have a nice. But you can see how we're starting to get a nice look on. Look like it's, it's, very like it's easy. growing up the side yeah, of the frame. Yeah, yeah. And so you'll keep working your way, and you'll notice you keep um, positioning your bundles so they're all going the same direction. You know, so you're going to weave like, like your way Like it's growing up? Or yeah, so okay. it's all going, you're going to keep your bundles kind of, so that they keep covering up the bases of the previous Okay, bundle. now I'm going to ask you a design question here because <laughs> okay. you mentioned that. I'm going to hold this up for a second, you guys. <laughs> now on this one here, you said keep it so it overlaps on the bottom, but what if I wanted to have it? come like this so it looks like it's growing all the way. You, know, you can do whatever you want. Really. Okay. I'm, I'm all about that. I'm about take the idea and run with it. Do your own thing. Okay. Sometimes um, people will do, they'll just do maybe part of the frame. So you can, you know, kind of just at, do a, a, um, a half a wreath. Sure. And then maybe put some other things on the other side or you can just create some different looks and designs with, okay. you know, you don't have to go around the mm -hmm. entire frame if you don't want to. Um, and then you could alternate the types of greens. That's going to give it a different look. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's really, you know, there are, there are no rules. <laughs> but it's, it's <laughs> very unique. Whatever you like you're not is how you should do it. You're not going to see another one like this anywhere. No, and no. I like because, you know, a lot of your wreaths, they're round. Well, it's f fun to do some things that are square or maybe be diagonal or you know like in a diamond shape right. or you can do some that are oval you mm -hmm. know do different shapes of wreaths and okay now what about this one here you mentioned these rings I don't think a glue gun's going to work on these rings. Okay. <laughs> these are like macrame hoops, and okay. you can get these wherever they sell hobby and art supplies. So, so as are well. we wiring these on now? Them? With the with this, because it's a thinner um, type of a frame, you can just actually you don't have to create the bundles. What I did, you can see this one up here. I did use all pine for that one, which created a nice little uh, shaggy look there. Mm -hmm. And I just directly wired. It looks like a, looks like a lion mane. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. See, there, it's like a lion mane. <laughs> Very nice. <Okay. laughs> So you just put, um, you'll just take your wire and you'll start wrapping around this hoop. Now, do I need to cut a piece of wire off or just keep it no, on No, because you want it to continue. So I kind of keep it, that's, this paddle wire is nice because it's, it's kind of designed to go in and out of whatever you're wiring very easily. Okay. So. You can see them 
not very handy when it comes to this here. This is meant, you just kind of sit, relax, and there you go. You know that never happens. <laughs> Sit and relax. What the heck is And then you kind of get into a groove on how to position your wire and your pruners and everything. But so you'll see. So you this. prune and then, so then I'll wire. So basically, you're just going to keep adding this to your frame here. And that's how you made and that then one wire there. It on, and that's how I made that one. Yes. So there aren't any bundles there. We just wired it directly onto that. So that's even a little bit quicker to uh, bust through. And that'll stay. You don't have to do all the bundles in advance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it stays on there nicely. All and right. Then you can hang it with a ribbon or you could, uh, you know, put it on a wall hanger depending on what type of a look you're going for there. All right, that works. Okay, so yeah. basically anything you have around the house uh, that you're not using anymore, instead of discarding it. There's lots of frames you can use to create your wreaths okay. and to, to use your greenery. This greenery is also very nice to just bring in some different branches, and then you can put it on your tablescape, you can put it up on your mat, you know, just insert some sprigs on your side tables mm -hmm. uh, in amongst uh, your other holiday decor, this would and it be, just adds a nice touch of nature. This would be a, a good, uh, you know, surrounding for a candle. You know, if you had a candle with a protection mm -hmm. thing on there, there'd be a, a nice little thing around there. Exactly, so. exactly. And then when you're done and to cut, you know, all of your hard work, this one's, <laughs> I've made you. This is pine tea. Mm -hmm. pa are you serious? <laughs> pine needle tea. Go, I've, pine I've been needle joking tea. since we got here. Uh, I know, because I usually make many you parts, eat the green Many parts of this are, are, are edible, but yes. we're going we're gonna to try this when we come back. I want to give this a sample to see what it's really All right, like, we'll okay? take it over to the desk. But pine we'll tea, folks, when we come back. But again, some of the things you can do with things that are already in your yard or maybe in your basement or your garage at home. We'll